Welcome to A House Around the Corner. I'm your host, Trisha Zima, and I'm here with Leanne Fitzgerald, executive producer of our show. Now, the CCH media team has gone off to the Hayfield Resource Community Centre. Welcome. Thanks, Trisha. Tell me about the trip this time. Oh, it was a wonderful trip up to Gippsland. I love going to Gippsland. I'm an old Gippsland girl myself. Um, and Hayfield have got the most amazing sustainability project. Um, it's an inspiration to the whole sector, I think, and to communities at large. Now, due to the efforts of this centre, Hayfield has become the first sustainable town in Victoria. Is that right? I think that's probably true, Trish. Um, they've achieved some amazing things. It's a, quite a small centre and um, in not a very big town, about 2,000 people, but they have got on board well over 40% of the households in the town at directly involved in their sustainability project and a lot of the businesses as well. It's quite an achievement. Thank you so much for joining me, Leanne. You're welcome, Trish. So we're travelling from Kanara Community House to Hayfield to visit this sustainable centre. <laughs> Julie Bryant, uh, I work at the Hayfield Community Resource Centre. I'm assistant coordinator and also bookkeeper here. We have a very vibrant house, it's busy all the time and it's a pleasure to work here. My name is Millie Dvorak and um, I'm volunteer in Hayfield Resource Centre and I was the assessor for FLAG program. I was born in Europe, in Czech Republic and uh, I grew up in a very environmentally friendly family uh, since I remember. We're very proud of our uh, sustainable flag program that we did. We went to the local supermarket and we asked the community what they would like us to do for the community. And a lot of the information we got back was that they wanted to be um, more environmentally fr friendly to, in the community, in their homes, but they didn't know where to start. Um, Millie is a volunteer at our house. She came in here when she moved here and she set up our community garden with help from other volunteers. She's very enthusiastic and loves sustainable practices. She um, was our assessor and she went to the homes to assess people's homes. I love environmental stuff. That means I was very interested when the program came up and I did a course that I could be assessor and um, I was glad that I could go and assess the houses. First I went into the businesses and asked all the businesses would they participate and they did. So we did the uh, assessments and then put the flags up and that got the people into the community house asking what are the flags, what can we do. A lot of businesses got involved and um, it's unbelievable how people are trying and how they realise if they're doing the right thing, if they're recycling with all the stuff, how much they can save, how much they can help and it's actually not hurting them. It's not hard to do. They volunteered their home and over half the population um, did the program. FLAG program is uh, to help people realise how we can save the environment and how we can sa help them to save the money and improve the lifestyle for generation now and future generations. And we had FLAG program in three steps. First step was white flag, second step was blue flag and third step was green flag. White flag was very easy to just get people involved and interested. And um, next step, blue flag, there was a few things which they have to achieve and the hardest was green flag. But a lot of people were so interested, they want to go all the way through and community really stick together and they wanted to improve lifestyle in Hayfield and their own lifestyle and um, help environment and future generations. Easiest things for people to change and do, like with white flag, was just to teach them 
switch the PowerPoint at the wall, use the savers and um, 10 of the taps, don't let the water leak and um, sort your rubbish. Green waste is excellent for your garden, to, for the compost or worm farms. If you've got a worm farm, it actually helps a lot of people, young families, to establish the worm farms. And I explained to them, if you've got a worm farm, not only you recycle all the green stuff, but you actually getting your own organic fertilizer from worms, which is really good. With the blue flag, there, was, there were things like outside the house, which were really important like for people to realize if they put awning on a Western windows, that's big difference. They don't have to switch on air condition. That means they're saving a lot of money. Um, with the green flag, we tried sort of to explain people and we had a really good program here with the solar panels. Whoever could afford that, we helped them to put the solar panels on. Depends how big system they were able to have. And uh, that was a really hard achievement for community. Solar panels and solar hot water system was a, for a green flag, really big achievement. First, people are a little, little bit sort of in a doubt if they want to do it or not. But then um, I slowly start looking, you know, gently around the house. You, you have to be not invasive and very gentle around the houses. And I just point at a few things. If you do this, you can save money. If you do this, you can improve that and slowly start getting them involved and interested. Community were amazing. They just really wanted to do something, you know. And um, I found out that actually people had no problem with me to coming to the houses. They actually asked me if I've got more ideas, how they can improve, how they can save, what better can be done. Hayfield um, Resource Centre has been here for 29 years, I think. And over that period, we have done lots of community classes, community courses. We've done patchwork to abseiling, whitewater rafting. We have childcare here, which is four days a week. We have three's kinder and occasional care on two days. We have community lunches on Wednesday and we get 45 to 50 people. And this is what our community lunch is all about. We love it when they stay till two or three o'clock. We have a men's shed um, that's very popular. The men's shed, um, when we built the men's shed, we decided that we would use sustainable practices there as well. We have solar hot water on the men's shed. We also have solar hot water on the house and, and we also have 24 panels, solar panels making our own power, which we're very proud of. It brought tourists in, um, they wanted to know what we were doing and it's won us uh, quite a few awards. We've won the United Nations Sustainability Education Award, we've won the Prime Super Award for Community Participation, we've won, we were finalist in the Premier State Award for Environmental Sustainability Programs and we've just won uh, a couple of weeks ago the Tidy Towns Pam Keating Sustainability Award. Learn Local provides quality education and training to people of all ages and backgrounds and has hundreds of locations across regional Victoria. Learn Local gave me the opportunity to complete my schooling and get the job I wanted. I never completed school, but I got the training I needed to get a great job. At Learn Local, I did the course I wanted to change my career. Learn Local. Flexible, friendly and just around the corner. Take your next step with us. Authorised by the Victorian Government, Melbourne.